Hi, and welcome to DrawingAndPaintingForEveryone.com. Today, I'm going to describe how I prepare a surface for a portrait. I'm going to do this particular preparation on a panel, but typically I work on a stretched canvas, but the procedure is exactly the same. So let's get going. The texture on this panel isn't terrible, but for a portrait, I prefer a smoother surface. I'm going to start with this light modeling paste from Liquitex. I'll spread the modeling paste with this Bondo tool, which I got from my local auto parts store. In addition, I'll need sandpaper, acrylic gesso, a couple of colors of acrylic paint, and this standard quality household paintbrush. Here's a list of the materials I'm using. This light modeling paste is perfect for creating a smooth finish. You could probably produce the same texture with acrylic gesso, but it would take four or five coats of the gesso. As I work this modeling paste, small ridges build up at the corners of the Bondo tool. These ridges will go away as I spread the modeling paste. If they're excessive or won't go away, you have probably added too much modeling paste. Start taking the excess of the modeling paste off with your finger. Now I'll let the modeling paste dry. As I check the surface over, there are a few spots that need to be lightly sanded. In this image, I'm trying to show the difference between the original canvas and the surface that I just applied. Over the years, I've painted on many different surfaces. I've created portraits on wooden panels, on oil-primed, acrylic-primed linen and cotton canvases. This surface isn't the best in the world, but it's actually very good. I'm using sap green and burnt sanded to tint this gesso. If I had wanted a more gray color, I could have used ultramarine blue and burnt sienna. I'm mixing my color before adding it to the gesso. This step isn't absolutely necessary, but sometimes I get large clumps of color as I'm painting the panel.
I've had a student or two over the years accidentally use their oil colors when mixing their gesso. My advice is don't do it. You'll have to clean the mess up and you'll have to clean your brush out before starting over. Always use acrylic products with this gesso. Now I'm going to add a tint to the surface of my canvas. Painters refer to these layers of gesso, modeling paste, and whatever primer was on this panel when I bought it as the ground. So technically I'm preparing the ground for my portrait. The cotton canvas under all these layers is referred to as a substrate. My original mixture is a little stiff. I'm adding more water to help the paint spread. I'm trying to apply this final tinted coat of gesso smoothly. I don't like to sand this top coat. The gesso is slightly gritty and I like the way my oils blend on this gritty surface. And that's how I prep my canvas. I like to have it smooth, but not as smooth as glass. I don't want it so slippery that the paint slides around as I'm working. I like to have a neutral color in the background so that it's, that it's easy to paint on. I hope this has been helpful. Thanks. Mm -hmm.